everybody, Nick Lee here from Pragmatic Works, coming at you again with another Azure Everyday video. What we're going to be talking about today is what data source are you using? So this is a big question, right? Uh, you could be using any number of data sources. You could be using flat files like Excel files or CSV that you export from some of the data source. You could be connecting directly to a SQL server. You could be using a data warehouse architecture. You could be connecting to SharePoint or however many other data sources out there that exist, right? You could be using many and many and many of those. But one of the problems that we see as consultants at Pragmatic Work come up all the time is that some companies use far, far too many data sources. Now, this comes along the lines of, yeah, all right, so they're connecting to a couple tables off of SQL Server, and they're also got one view on SQL Server, and then they're connecting directly to a SharePoint list to pull some data in that they've been, uh, you know, keeping track of, and they're exporting from some Excel files from something like SAP, and they're all putting all these different data sources into one report. Now, this is pretty problematic uh, for many different reasons. One, uh, a lot of times you'll have a, a, a difficulty with one version of the truth. If you have multiple people creating reports based off of a hodgepodge of different data sources, there might get some very different types of filtering that gets done, not including the different types of DAX that gets used and the M code that gets used. You'll have some serious, uh, serious one version of the truth type of problems kind of going on around here. So, Basically, what I'm getting to here is that best practice for your data sources is that your long-term goals, now this may take months or even a year or years to accomplish, but a long-term goal is what you need for your data sources. And a lot of times what these long-term goals end up being is connecting to a data warehouse, or a tabular model, you know, getting a multi-dimensional cube spun up, something along the lines of something that contains all of your data and data sources in one nice spot. And in that nice spot, you apply all your changes to them, like any kind of DAX calculation that anyone would ever need is already there. Any kind of relationship that needs to be built, whether it's active or inactive, between any table already set up. Ways to navigate through those relationships that, uh, that are in, inactive by the use of certain calculations, certain DAX calculations, already ready. This prevents any kind of truth issues you may, you may be having throughout your company. And in turn, this gives you one version of the truth. Also, when you're connecting to these things via a live connection, you are you know only connecting to one singular data source. Also, it prevents people having access to data that other users don't have access to, you know, assuming that they're supposed to have access to it, that is. So like I'm saying, long story short is set yourself up and your company up with a long-term goal for some type of data warehouse uh, platform where you can connect to from any computer, anyone in the company that should be creating reports should be able to connect to this and start creating whatever kind of reports they want to. And that's my little uh, two cents for today on that subject. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter is at back to sequel. And my email is inly at pragmaticworks.com if you have any more questions. Otherwise, thank you so much for turning in to tuning in to this Pragmatic Works Azure Everyday video.